from London. If you want any more details about his music, you can get in touch with me here at station. Uh, email studio at blackdiamondfm.com and I'll pass on the details. Or just do a search on Twitter for SB Entertainer. Uh, fantastic stuff and I hope that it sends me more of his original material to play on the show. So I am still joined with uh, with Rab. I was going to call you Kenny again, but I thought, nah, better not. <laughs> <laughs> joined with Rab and Fiona Lynch. Now, as we said earlier on in the show, you guys have, have came together on this songwriting uh, collaboration. I, I was going to ask, because we, we spoke about briefly off air, Rab, what, what sort of gives you the influence for, or what has given you the influence for, where do you find inspiration for songwriting? Inspiration, uh, one of the most popular songs that I've, that I've written recently, at least live anyway, is a song called The River. Uh-huh. And it came to me, uh, I thought I'd missed my hometown of Glasgow. I'm, fr- I'm originally from Glasgow. Uh-huh. And I thought I was missing Glasgow. But actually, what I was actually missing was my childhood. Right. And the things I did when I was a, a child. And I took a, a little, uh, last summer, I took a, a drive down beside the River Clyde where I used to hang around when I was a, when I was a little boy. And uh, and this song just came to me, mm-hmm. called The River. And it's all about what I used to do when I was a kid, sit on the edge of the River Clyde and watch the ships go up and down. And so it's became The River, and a lot of people, when, when I do it live, a lot of people say, that's a great song. Now, so, I'm, yeah. I'm just wondering about the style of ships when you were younger. They were, they were the ones with the sails. <laughs> 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 I wondered when he was going to come up with something like that. <laughs> yes, you, you've got to, you know, now and again, come up with something of course. just a wee bit funny. Um, but um, it, yeah, so that was that. That was that, Mark. So I mean, and in the case of uh, the one that Fiona and I wrote, it was uh, it was quite funny because I used to watch uh, the men going after Fiona because she's quite an attractive lady, and uh, and I used to think, what a pain in that. Oh. Beep. <laughs> what a pain in the beep that must be. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Um, Sorry, you stopped yourself. And so it was. Uh, I had this idea of this Latino block who was trying to chat up everything that moved. Uh-huh. So that really, that's what the song's about. It's about me imagining F- Fiona be- being chatted up with this bloke and her trying to get rid of him. So that's how I get the idea for that song. But a lot of most of the lyrics are actually Fiona's. So Fiona yourself, you, you've put the influence in, in the sort of. Mm-hmm. You, so what background do you come from? Uh, a bit of jazz and a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, like I've always been interested in, like you know, the kind of R and B, jazz, kind of soul, funk. Like I had growing up, I kind of listened to a mixture of everything. Uh-huh. Um, but I do I sing in the jazz bar Sunday nights, so mm-hmm. we kind of do a lot of neo soul stuff there, and and it's kind of jazz influenced. Mm-hmm. Um, so kind of always been interested in that in that style. But for for this song, when when um, when Rab showed me this, he started playing this riff. Almost it just instantly thought of this Latino kind of. Um, almost yeah, <laughs> almost um, and. It kind of it was like it, when he said earlier it was when uh, we were recording time on my hands um mm-hmm. and um david payton played cara emerald and straight away i just knew that that was kind of the sound that i wanted to have for for the next song um but yeah so the, i don't know it, it just kind of came up as when he started playing the song and then we just kind of jammed it out and so we're going to play the song now for for our listeners and it's called mona lisa Mona Lisa. Yeah. Is, is it a classic? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would, obviously. <laughs> oh, this, this is uh, this is Rab and Fiona, and their their lovely new single. We'll talk about when we come back. Uh, we'll talk about how people can get a hold of this and uh, and where it was uh, all written and produced and everything else. Yeah. 
blow that trumpet real hard. <laughs> I've got it. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, you sent me a copy the other day and I, and I had a listen as I was saying to you and I, I had a listen with earphones on in the house. Brilliant stuff. I love it. I'm a big Caro Emerald fan. Uh, I think you've got a, a different sort of uh, turn on it as well. Mm -hmm. um, maybe more of a bit sort of more modern sound, but I absolutely love it. If you have any any feedback on that song that I've just played, you can email studio at blackdiamondfm.com or if you have a question for Rab or Fiona and we can air it, uh, you can call us 0131 663 and it'll come through to the studio. Now, talking about the studio, you recorded this in Edinburgh with a chap called Al James, with Al James Music. That's mm -hmm. right, yeah. That was, um, well, I had done Callum Beatty's album. Uh -huh. uh, well, not all of them. I'd done a couple of tracks, played a couple of guitars for him. And uh, and I was just, I loved what he was doing with Callum, you know, sound-wise and production-wise. And he was, arrange he was arranging a lot as well. And I thought, well... It would be great if he could do some stuff with Fiona and I. Mm -hmm. So he immediately agreed yeah. to do it. So that's and we're really pleased when I work with mm -hmm. Fiona. Absolutely, I mean, he's, a, he's, a, he's fabulous. He's really good, and he's he's very. What's the word? What's the word, Fiona? He's nice. You must he's, know. He's nice. <laughs> very easy to work with. And yeah. and mm -hmm. the, and he had zeros in in every little thing, which is, I'm quite impatient. And I said, I want everything done now. Because Al's very, very pedantic that way, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, we're talking about Callum Beatty's album that you, yes. you played on a couple of tracks doing mm -hmm. session guitar. Mm -hmm. um, it's His band are, are being launched tonight, uh, or the, right. the album is being launched tonight That's at right. Cabaret yeah. Voltaire. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight, Cabaret kicking Voltaire. off from half past seven. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be there, I'm on the guest list, so right. I believe. <laughs> so am I, just if I can get my car back on the road, I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not entirely sure whether Al's uh, listening this afternoon. He's a regular listener to the show, and he's been up here with Callum. Uh, so, Al, if you are listening, uh, you should be rehearsing for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but, uh, yes, we'll, we'll see you. Uh, and if anybody does want to go to that, we've had Callum on the show. Uh, we're a big fan here at Black Diamond. So that's Callum Beatty launching his album, which is called This Time, This Place. And uh, believe me, he's one for the future. What, what do you think, Rob? Do you think he's a, a man for the future? I think he should be. Yep. I just hope he gets the break. You that, know, that's it. That's what it's all really about. Because yeah. he's got everything. He's, you know, he's got youth. He's got talent. You know, and he's, he's just got it all. And uh, far be it for me to say he's not a bad looking lad as well. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I'll say it for you. I, I could see that you were making these sort of hand gestures he's lovely. As if he's, to say he's, he's lovely. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, obviously, you've done some done that work with him. Uh, if people want to see yourself, Rab, they can see you on a regular basis up at Woodburn Miners. Any That's other places? Yeah, if you want to come and see Fiona and I, like, you can see us at the Woodburn every Saturday. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm not actually there at the moment because I've been I've not been that well uh -huh. recently. So, uh, but. I think starting back in November, Fiona and I will be there every Saturday night. You know, so you can see me possibly in November as well. Uh huh. Uh, at Bannerman's on a Saturday afternoon uh, with the Rob Howitt band. An old regular haunt of yours. An old regular haunt, yeah, with the Rob Howitt band. And so, yes. Carl. The Rob Howitt band, is that yourself, Laurie, Laurie Ball? Laurie Ball, Ali Wilson, and Roy Martin. Uh huh. And also, of course, the Apple Beggars would do. 
we'll be doing the caves this Christmas. Uh-huh. With uh, Kenny and myself, Laurie, Roy, and Martin Wakes on drums. Fantastic so, stuff. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. And yourself, you know, you can regularly be seen at Jazz Bar at Chamber Street, is it? Yeah, um, Jazz Bar every Sunday night from about half twelve to three. The Sunday Sinners, yeah, play yeah. there every week. So. Now, if people want to buy the sing, is the single on iTunes yet or? Um, not yet. No. No. Not yet. Yet. We thought mm -hmm. we'd. we'd do the album first right so mm -hmm. you're gonna there's going to be a full album mm -hmm. there's going to be a full if people album. want to hear a preview of it they can go on to soundcloud, SoundCloud. Channel, SoundCloud yep. Yep. Uh, yep. which you've got yourself so uh, if you're on a lynch and rap how it and that's on soundcloud.com uh, if you do a search actually if you just go to facebook and do a wee search as well you'll probably find you that the, the soundcloud yeah. link will come up can i thank you guys for coming in today uh, it's and been a pleasure Mark. i know it's been a bit difficult with uh, <laughs> with traveling and uh, and things like that but the uh, these things happen, don't they? Well, thanks a taxi, for having us. A taxi from Morningside to Newton Grange is not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, wait a minute. Wait, wait. No, I'm, I'm looking for I'm looking for the petty cash to see if I can reimburse you. No, but thank you very much. Good luck uh, with the future projects. Um, I will obviously be keeping the uh, tabs on that. And uh, once once we get the album, and once you've done the full album, we'll get you back on the show and we can play more tracks That'd for the listeners. Brilliant. Thank be you. Fantastic stuff. That's a uh, wrap it. And Fiona Lynch, great stuff.